Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Brian Peterson, we got the Munoz brothers. You guys know what that means. We're going to do some wrestling, but it's also good for jujitsu. So um, my catch wrestling fans of the channel, they like to see catch wrestling. They're going to go, ooh, that's so catch wrestling. Three-quarter Nelson. Okay, what is a three-quarter Nelson? Um, it is used in jiu-jitsu quite a bit. Um, again, when, when the Darce choke was getting really, really popular um, from about year 2001, 2000, 2001, up to like 2005 was kind of the, the genesis of the, the Darce choke with Joe D'Arcy. Um, the vice grip Darce started to come into jiu-jitsu a lot. The 90s, you didn't really see it, but wrestling had this move called a three-quarter Nelson. And uh, let's do it. So, hmm, how should we start, boys? Let's do, let's do three-quarter Nelson off the single leg. Here, let me show it real quick. So he's gonna take a shot on a single leg, and when you guys get shot on right here, I'm gonna hit, sprawl back and hip in. So I sprawl back, and you see how I turn my left hip. Why do I turn my left hip? Because if I sprawl back and try to turn here, you cut the corner, and he'll get right behind me. Super easy. So what I'm doing is I'm like hipping in right here. Now this hand is gonna be your wizard. So I'm gonna keep this here. Now go ahead and come around here to the front. As I'm fighting off this single leg, my right hand pushes on the head and I try to bury the head. I don't want his head up because if his head's up, he's strong. We could be battling up here. If he may not get the single leg like and finish me, but if he drives up into me, you know, I might, you know, even if you can't pick it up, just drive up to your feet. Yeah, even if I like defend, you know, we're back to more of a neutral position. His head is up, he's strong. Don't let his head up. So when he shoots that single leg, bury that head right here. And then what I'm gonna do, as my hand's on his head, I'm gonna bring my wizard arm, which is my left, and it's gonna come, you can see right here. It's gonna come all the way through here. And we're gonna bring this palm down. See, I'm waving, just like on a Dars. And I'm gonna bring this hand that was pushing his head to the palm up position, and I'm gonna lock in S grip. Okay, like this. You could use a palm to palm, but the S grip gives you more ability to close your elbows. This is what I recommend. Okay, I also have to have a little angle. I cannot be out in front. If I'm out in front, when I lock it, I can squeeze it like this, like I can squeeze his throat, but I can't put the pressure of my right elbow on his head, which is what I want. So what I want to do is I want to be here and I want to get that elbow there. So now with my elbow in the back of his head, he can't really, uh, see I'm on two knees. Let's just look at my position for a second. This looks really poor. It looks like my balance is bad. Like if I didn't have this hold, let's say I was like this, he could just drive right into me and finish me. You know, he could run behind me, step in the hole. Yeah, he could go there. Like there's so many things he could do, right? But once I have this locked, he tries to drive into me, it's tough. And now I'm pinching it off and I'm gonna turn him to his side like that. I'm squeezing it. See that hold here? So I'm going there. Now he still has my single leg. So we'll go ahead and walk around. Yeah. See that I've got the pressure. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna try to swipe a reverse half Nelson and throw my right elbow right over here. So I'm gonna go here. And then as my leg whips off of that single leg, and he loses it, my elbow's catching here. So in wrestling, he can't go belly down. I underhook his head and I pull his head up towards me. I can't do this in wrestling, I would love to. But instead, I'll pull his head under and I'll go under for the simple reverse half Nelson lock and then finish going for the pin right there. You can also go to an over under position. You guys, one more time. Guy takes a single leg on me, boom, I hip in. See the pulse, I pulse on the head. This is normal stuff. Normal stuff. Most of the time, I would run this way and get back to get him free of my leg. But instead, I'm gonna attack instead. I'm not just gonna give him a chance to wrestle back up. While he's hunting for my leg and he's driving into me, I'm already locking it right there. See that? And I've got my elbows in. Now, see my elbows in? He's, he can't really go anywhere. Even if the guy were to stand up, you keep this hold. If he's trying to stand up and get his head out, it's tough. I run to the side flip him and then immediately spin and here's the over under see how i caught this elbow here over under and then now i'm walking towards his head looking for the fall okay one more time last time for me and then i'm gonna let the boys drill a little bit so again if he takes that 
He takes that, boom, my hip in. See that position right there? As quick as you can while you're in this position, you're jamming the guy's head, the guy wants that single leg. He's charging, he's charging. Lock it up. Now you've got it. If the guy doesn't want to go, you see how he let go of my leg and he doesn't want to go? You try and then you just come out behind him. Jiu Jitsu, a la belt, wrestling, we're coming into wrestling positions. If the guy wants to base, spin behind. Let's see it, boys. So now they're gonna drill. Nice single leg, look at that. Locking it up, cranking them off, spinning it around, three quarter Nelson. Okay. Kind of been lost a little bit. There's not a lot of wrestlers that use this hold nearly as much. Most of the time you see it, you see it uh, from behind someone. Maybe we'll show you in a second, but let's do another one. See that? Lock it right there. Lock it with the angle. If the guy wants to pulse his hands, that's fine. We'll just run behind him. Go ahead and uh, get behind him. Let's see what we call the tombstone, uh, the three-quarter with the Iowa stack. So in wrestling, you guys do jiu-jitsu, you probably don't even care, but this is where you will see this commonly in wrestling. You'll see the ankle hook right here. So this ankle hook, while, while Trent's, or uh, excuse me, Alex is riding Trent, He'll, he'll drape this arm above, and it's basically the same hold. He can use this grip, or he can use the pawn upon. We usually use the pawn upon for this version. And then he's basically just gonna tip him over. And then the cool thing is, because he's got the leg secured, Trent can't flip all the way, and now he's stuck. And now let's check the pin. I mean, it looks pretty good from there, but let's see it over here. Um, shoulders flat, Alex? I'd say yeah. so. Boom. So that's usually where you see it, but um, this move is the same move without the Iowa ride, where we call it out on the West Coast, or the ankle hook. What if you're riding behind someone? Let's see. So Trent's riding behind, you know, maybe he's gonna be bringing his forearm over the top, kind of heavy on the head. He can just go to the lock right there. And if he locks it and pinches the elbows, to, no, no, you had the lock. You gotta make sure that this palm is up you don't want to have it the other way. If you have it the other way, it's not going to work because now the head, you can't close your elbows. It's very weak. And then the head, uh, Alex, just kind of duck it and then sweep it Yeah, right in there. That's not good. As long as you keep your elbow down, try to hit that same little duck peek out. You see how he's not letting it? He's not letting you peek out. He's not letting you do anything. He can pinch it off, try to flip you over, and then spin right into the reverse half now so then you can go there. Now, if you guys are jujitsu guys, Let's teach some wrestlers at dollars real quick. Who wants to try? I'll try. Okay, so hit the same move. So in the jiu-jitsu world, we do the same move, but after we pinch it off and we knock him on his side, like, yeah, right there, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take your left hand and, and just lift his head and your right hand's gonna shoot like an uppercut all the way through and then just rear naked choke that grip. Yes, right there. And you've got a nice, that's an easy choke. Look at how brutal that is. I'd like to see his face. Nice. I always suggest you guys come over and try to try to hook the hook the mount. You know, try to step your right leg right over. Kind of like you're gonna go, yeah, that's a solid squeeze position. That would be ultimate. Many people do it dip with different finishes, but that's what I like. Um, anyway, so there's a little Darce. You, I don't even know, should we go to the assassin? All right, here's a little brutal. We'll show you guys some brutality and wrestling. Cool wrestling stuff. Um, if you guys, if, if Alex is putting it on Trent and Trent doesn't want to flip, he basically bases and he maybe flattens out and he can't, he can't pinch it off because the guy doesn't want to go to his back and wrestling. That's what he, he doesn't want to go to his back. Alex is going to take a big step. His heel is going to pull right into here. Nice. And now he's going to use this and also he's on his left knee over here. It's really important to not be sprawled. You don't want to be sprawled and bring that knee in nice and close so that you, you are not too close where you can't, you know what I mean? But like close enough where you can hoist him up, lift him up. And then once you lift him up, you punch it in. So he punches this in. And now this looks reminiscent of a uh, type of guillotine choke where the arm is across like an arm triangle. In wrestling, we call this the assassin. Now go ahead and just you first take him over to a grapevine mount right there. He goes grapevine or locked ankles, either one. Either grapevine or crossed ankles. Or you can also, in wrestling, come off to the side 
which is pretty brutal. And you go for the pin like this. Nice. Okay. And if you really want to cinch it, you sit out with it. Go ahead, Trent. Hit it, hit it on uh, Alex. Again. Guys, this is mostly I'm teaching for the sport of wrestling. A uh, little bit of fancy stuff. Now, say he goes belly down right here. He goes belly down. He doesn't want to go to his back. Really try to flip him before you go, Trent. Like, so you're trying to pinch it off and flip him, and he's staying down. Stay, no, no. Uh, come back a little bit. Come back this way. And shoot this and really try to flip. Yeah, like that, like that. I want to see that, that, that. He doesn't want to go. Step over. Hoist him up. Lift. Punch it in like a, like a choke, but he's got the arm in, guys. So it's legal in wrestling, and he's right in the assassin. Beautiful mount position off to the side. Can you give me a little sit out? Ooh, brutal. Like you're, like you're trying to, I, I just said, I, I made up a new word, word right there. Did you hear that? That was brutal combined, combined with beautiful. You get brutal. <laughs> so lift his head up. It's brutal. And then, oh, we got a little shoulder blade off the mat. Boom, right there. Kiss it. And it's over. We got moves for days, huh? Yep. <laughs> All right. So, guys, there's a little bit of wrestling. I know a lot of people like to see the wrestling. Um, even if you guys probably only do jiu-jitsu or maybe you're just MMA fans. Wrestling's got a lot of stuff that you don't see in, in jiu-jitsu. Um, but you can use some of this stuff. I mean, it's not totally applicable all the time. But, like, for example, the single leg stuff. Single legs happen in jiu-jitsu. So if you're sprawling and wizarding on a single leg, put in that what we call vice grip dars or the three-quarter Nelson. And then you can use that to kind of flip the guy, go into a Dars, or if you just want to use it to go behind him. You know, if he resists and just tries to belly flat, a lot of guys do that because they don't want to get darsed. Just take his back, take your arm out, spin behind. All right, thank you guys so much. Appreciate you guys. Teach me grappling. Uh, like this video, share this video, and we'll see you guys next time with more great stuff. Later.